So the real reason I decided to go D2 instead of D1 is Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy AC back with another video. I needed to make this video real quick because I had a lot of questions under last video, my last video being reacting to my freshman year college highlights. Something I mentioned in that video was that uh, my decision for college on signing day was between Georgetown and Pace University. As you guys know, Georgetown is Division One, Pace University is Division Two, And as I also know, I went with Pace University and a lot of people asked, why did you go with the D2 choice over the D1 choice? And a lot of people was like, oh, you're dumb. Why didn't you go D1? There's a lot that goes into it. And I felt like I needed to make a video about it because you guys are kind of like, you guys were kind of like left and open about that. I didn't really explain too much. I didn't want to like comment on all these comments and respond to it like that. So I was figuring I'd make a video. Before we get into today's video, I'm going to need y'all to go down and hit that like button, man. It's really essential that you hit the like button. Everybody that's rocking with me, I'm doing something different. I'm doing a lot more IRL videos. And uh, y'all yeah, know on YouTube, once you start doing different things, it's harder to build back up. So I'm trying to get back up to that level. Don't worry, video games will be back. But for now, this is the stage of life I'm at. This is what the videos I want to do. And I hope y'all support the videos I'm doing. Also, right after this video, I'm going to be recording a special video i think you're gonna like it a lot i think a lot of people i think it's gonna do real well since you guys have seen my high school highlights and you guys have seen my freshman year college highlights i'm not ready to show you my full like highlights yet because i haven't finished yet so once i finish my last season that's when we'll do that i'm gonna do sophomore junior and senior all into one video but you guys still haven't seen me like at receiver really doing anything yet so what i'm gonna do is right i'm gonna go back into huddle and i'm gonna pull up like all of like my one-on-one -on -one clips throughout this. So we're gonna go through, react to my college one-on-ones throughout this past season. And we're gonna, I'm gonna break some of them down, like give you guys some tips. And pretty much I can see for the first time uh, me against like, you know, college guys running routes and stuff like that. I'm I'm a great route runner. I'm just letting y'all know right now. So for me, y'all gonna wanna see that video just to see if y'all rock when we gonna set a like goal. I'll drop that video tomorrow if we get 300 likes by the end of today. 300 likes is not harder though. Y'all know, y'all could do that easily. I remember a while ago I had sent in a video, there's three types of you guys the first type people that just like the video off rip because they, they mess with me the second type is the people that uh, like the video because I tell them to like the video they be like oh they forget and then they like it after I ask and then the third people is just they watch this video and they just don't like it because it's I don't know why like I said in the last video just don't be a third person man if you're watching this video I'm, I would have called the video just like the video bro it takes like three seconds but yeah so um that's pretty much it 300 likes I'll drop that video tomorrow and once again I'm gonna, I'm gonna record that right after this so um yeah let's get into this video though so the real reason I decided to go D2 instead of D1 is, I literally just said that for the uh, little beginning part that I do in my intros. But now nah, I feel like I need to tell you the story of my recruitment before like you guys can fully understand why I decided to go D2. So like I said in my last video about the, uh, the whole like college freshman year highlights, I wasn't a highly, highly crazy recruited player. I finished high school with five scholarships. The five scholarships were St. Anselm College in Massachusetts, Pace University obviously in New York, Delaware State in Delaware, Wagner, which is a terrible school, do not go to Wagner, and obviously the last was Georgetown. St. Anselm was the first school to offer me. I wasn't really interested in St. Anselm, I'm not even gonna lie. It was another D2 school, wasn't really interested. Pace was the second to offer me, and I was like, all right, I was feeling Pace a little bit, but you know, I, I hadn't seen a school yet, and I like that, so I was just like, listen to my offers. Wagner was my first Division One offer, and they they gave me a bad taste immediately. I'm not trying to, this video is not about bashing Wagner and all like that, but when Wagner offered, and they showed me what they had to offer, like, I was not interested at all. I had no, I heard a whole bunch of bad reviews about Wagner, and I was just like, all right, well, so far, the D2s look better than the D1s. Then Delaware State came around, and I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I was, I was, I really like Delaware State, but I kind of got scared away with their schedule. I'm not gonna lie, because the thing is, I haven't played, like, I wasn't like, like a highly renowned, like, four star, five star athlete. Like, I wasn't used to going up and playing a whole bunch. Of, they had, like, at the time, they had, like, Florida State on their on their damn schedule. I was just like, bro, like, Delaware State versus Florida State. I was just like, are you serious? Is that really what's about to happen? And it's not about me like being afraid of the competition. I would love to do a competition, but my, I'm saying at that time I was a running back, I was an undersized running back, and I was gonna go to Delaware State, have Delaware State line block for me against Florida State. That's setting myself up to get killed. I wasn't gonna do that. And plus, Delaware State was an HBCU, so like I wasn't really interested in going to HBCU. I feel like I've been like I've been around like black people my whole life, like so I was like I'm not gonna go there. So now it's a week from signing day. I went up to see my uh, St. Anselm visit. I had a, I actually had a pretty good time there, but like hey, nothing too crazy caught my attention. And then I had my visit at Pace. And I remember on my visit at Pace, the coach from St. Anselm, St. Anselm wanted me bad. The coach from St. Anselm was calling me 
during calling and texting me during my pay visit. Like, yo, do you like it better than than Sans? I was like, yo, damn, bro, let me enjoy my visit. But no cap, when I went to Pace, I really enjoyed it. Like, I loved it there. Like, I fell in love that day on my visit. I was ready to commit on my visit, but I was like, let me chill, let me chill. Fast forward to a couple days before signing day, my coach gives me a call. He's like, look, listen. Georgetown, they're real interested in you. This is just a catch. I was like, shit, Georgetown, man, that, that sounds like a great look. What could be the catch? Like, if they interested, with, like, what's going on? He said, pretty much they had one more offer left for running backs. I was a running back, as y'all know. So I'm like, all right, bet. So what's the what's for me? Like, tell them to offer me, man. I'm their guy. He's like, all right, so the little situation is there's another running back that they want a little bit more than you. So pretty much they're giving the offer to him, but. And mind you, I said this part in, like, I said a quick portion of this in the last video. But if he decides on signing day that he doesn't want to commit there, the offer is yours. So this is kind of what I didn't like. I didn't like the fact that I was being put second. You feel me? I wanted to go somewhere where people, like, they wanted me there. And obviously, Georgetown did want me there. But I didn't like the fact that I was going to be put second to another dude. Also, the way they made it seem, they kind of wanted me to commit, like, on signing day. Like, and I didn't get to visit because this was, like, a couple days before signing day. I hadn't, they, all their visits were done. Like, my next visit would have been that next weekend. And signing day was on, like, a Wednesday. So I'd be blind committing to a damn school that I didn't get to go to, nothing like that. And I just didn't know if I was ready to do that. Also, the way I am as a person, I'm kind of, like, growing with, like, like, for most of my life, I've been like an introvert. I know now I do YouTube, so like everybody just see like, oh, you're a big extrovert. But I think at heart, I'm still like an introvert and like big crowds and stuff and big schools. That's not really my thing. And um, I kind of assumed that Georgetown would be one of those schools. But yeah, one of the biggest reasons was I was pretty much being put second. And of course, on signing day, I was like, nah, I'm signing with Pace. I want to I wanna live out the, the signing day experience. I want to have all the, you know, pictures taken. I want to have that. I want to have that, like, because a lot of athletes around here don't get to have that. So I go signing with Pace. And of course, the dude that uh, pretty much determined what I was gonna get over. He signed with somewhere else and I would've had the Georgetown offer, but by that time I was high on pace. I was like, I don't care, but I wasn't worried about nothing. More things that are behind the scenes that went into my, my, my decision to go D2 over D1. Unless you're a really highly touted athlete that you're gonna, like they love you and you're gonna go in and you're gonna play off rip or you're gonna play guaranteed like your second year, I, I honestly advise going to D2 over D1. Like I feel like D1 athletes, it's easy to get washed away. It's easy to get out, to get forgotten about. I'm not gonna say all D2s, but at D2 you have a better chance to like show out, you know, make a name for yourself, go out and take over a team. You feel me? For some reason, a lot of people think, oh, if you don't go D1, oh, you're not gonna be able to go to the NFL. If you have aspirations going to the NFL, I had real big aspirations going to the NFL. I mean, now I don't know because my body a little messed up. Y'all ask me all the time if I still have aspirations going to the NFL. My body is torn up, bro. I'm not like, like my shoulder is hurting as we talking. But it's always been a possibility, and it still is a possibility. If I do decide I want to like make a run, like I still have two, three dudes on the team from this past year making a run to go to the league. I've had players in our league go to the league. Like it doesn't matter. It's, they're gonna find you. Like if you go out and you bowl, they're gonna find you. Don't just be like D1 or bust. Like that's that's the problem with a lot of people in my area and a lot like a lot of people in Jersey in general, like that I was friends with when they was coming out of high school. It was pretty much D1 or bust for them and that bust was was bad like they, they just end up not playing football at the next level and stuff and i just want y'all to keep that in mind when y'all making decisions because i know a lot of y'all are high schoolers play football you're getting ready to go to the next level and you have to think about these things i just want to remind y'all that like playing football at the next level is a blessing regardless no matter what d1 d2 d3 uh in the, whatever those independent leagues or anything like if you play football at the next level that's a blessing already and i feel like you should take that opportunity and you shouldn't be bummed out because you end up going d2 or you end up going d3 because like it, it is what it is there's players that go to the nfl out of d3 like i want y'all to pay attention to that if you go wherever you go just make sure you ball man like that's really all it is don't have d2 d1 d3 don't let those numbers like don't let those numbers play with your head honestly in all reality to me, and I think this is actually what the numbers mean, the numbers mean the size of your school and the amount of money your school has. It doesn't necessarily mean how good your team is. There's D2 schools that, let me think about this before I say this. Nah, I would say it. D2 school, there's D2 schools that could beat D1 schools, like D1 AA schools for sure, definitely. Matter of fact, a school that just moved up, a school, uh, Merrimack College, they was in our league last year, they moved up to D1. We beat them the year before. So that's a perfect example right there. D2s can be D1. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're better. But yeah, I just thought that I would drop that knowledge on y'all. Um, give y'all an explanation on why I decided to go D2 over D1. And uh, like, I really hope y'all think about that when y'all making y'all college decisions, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, though, 300 likes and y'all getting that next video tomorrow. I'm about to start editing that up right now. Well, I got to record it first, obviously. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope that actually did something for y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment on the channel, go hit that sub button. Also, hit that bell so you know the next time I upload a new video, y'all gonna want to see tomorrow's video. I'm not gonna lie. Until next time, though, AC, out.